What's up guys, Mr. here, back with some Magic the Gathering content. Today, we are talking some of the cool cards I found in March of the Mission. So the first card I want to talk about is Invasion of Zendik. It is a 3 of any color and 1 green for a battle siege with 3 counters. So as a siege enters, choose an opponent to protect it. You and others can attack it. When it is defeated, exile it, then cast it transformed. So on the first side, there's when Invasion of Zendikar enters the battlefield, search your library for up to 2 basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield tapped then shuffle. So Awakened Skyclave is a 4-4 elemental with vigilance and haste and it has as long as Awakened Skyclave is on the battlefield it's a land in addition to its other types and you can tap it to add one mana of any color. So Invasion of Zendikar is basically a strictly better explosive vegetation which is fine and all but we've had a bunch of strictly better explosive vegetations like Basswood Surge which you can kick to put counters, Migration Path which you can cycle and Detour where you can get gates. But I think this one is specifically strong because if you're able to do a 3 damage to it, this is a strong creature. It is unfortunate that it can only come in after combat unless you have a damage spell or something to damage invasion directly so it can't attack. But it is a third mana source that on the next turn can attack and then can create mana or block. Which I think is actually very powerful for only 3 damage. My problem with it is that it's kind of a non-bow with itself because the, the ramping part makes you want to play really big creature. And if you play really big creatures, you're gonna deal a lot more than three damage. You'll deal some excess damage to it. But there's one card that I think is actually very powerful with this, which is Pelucranos Reborn. So Pelucranos has some really good stats. So on turn four, after you play this, your opponent will still probably not have as good stats as Pelucranos. So you can go in and get your Awakened Skyclave immediately and then the another part that's really good with him is that his transform ability requires a lot of mana so it synergizes with the ramp. Another card I think it goes really well with is Topiary Stomper because Topiary Stomper you need seven lands before it can attack or block. So you play it on turn three, you get your fourth land. The next turn you play your land for turn, you play Evasion of Zendikar that gives you two more lands so now you have seven. It attacks it hits the invasion of Zendikar, then the Zendikar flips and you have more mana. So I think that's actually pretty powerful. Invasion is a permanent, so it works with Defiler of Vigor. You can use the Phyrexian mana to make it cheaper and buff your whole board. Kugla Nidaro is also a really powerful card to ramp into. You can play him, bite a big creature, and then swing in for the damage to flip. We also have these powerful two drops that make mana so you can invasion of zendikar on turn three and the interesting thing about both of these mana dirks is that they both can deal three damage this can make a land a three three and this can become a three three to flip invasion so i think there might be enough good green cards that synergize with this one to make it actually pretty strong deck and cards so i'm very excited this because I, I love mono green so much. Mono green's the deck that made me top nine in the world, so very excited. That is everything I have to say about Invasion of Zendikar. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. I certainly had fun talking about this card. Please tell me in the comments cards you want me to review, and please like, comment, subscribe. This is a new channel, so it would be really nice. And yeah, have a good one.